Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, yes. Good. Okay, good. Hold on. All right, how are you? I'm well, and what about you? I'm good, I'm good, thank you for asking. There's Sum, Rafael, there's Alejandra. There's Boris. How was your day today? No traffic? There's no traffic this day, teacher. Yeah, it was a very good day today. Rosa Maria, are you new? Yes, I hear you. Hi, are you new? Can you repeat? Yes. No, I'm asking, is today is today your first day in class? No, no, no. But uh, Tuesday, mm -hmm. I was in the aeroport because uh, in this moment, I am in Spain. You are in Spain. Yes. Nice. What time is it in Spain? I visit to my sister because she lives here. She is a student and now is uh, here is seven, seven, Friday seven. Seven in the morning. Yes. Uh, 4, 4 a.m. is here. Wait, it's 4 a.m. 4. 4, 4 a.m., yes. Wow. Sleep. You should be sleeping. Yes. <laughs> well, welcome. Do you like Thank Spain? You. Yes. I like. Do you want to live there? Sorry? Would you like to live in Spain? Yes, but is caliente, hot. Oh man, El Salvador, come on. Yes. It Spain is hotter than El Salvador? Yes, yes, more, more hot. Really? I don't yes. Think, wow, I didn't know that was possible. We are um, 33 grados. I don't know, who do you say? We're 33 Celsius. Celsius. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right. Well, welcome, Sara del Carmen. Welcome to class. Welcome, Mercy, Jamilet Aguilar. I know Aguiluz Aguilar. You have a long name, Mercy Jamilet Aguiluz Aguilar. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that gringos, you know, American people, they never understand why us Latinos we have such long names because they only have two. The they're yeah. always like John Smith. 
Ricky Henderson. <laughs> That's it. No, no other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and me working in the travel agency, I learned that some people do not have a name or do not have a last name <laughs> or some names are too long. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hold on, let me see one thing. Let me check one thing. Let me open my portal. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, it's you. Okay. I'm trying a, I'm trying a microphone. So um if I touch it. No, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, okay. So it does work. That looks nice. Yeah, it's cool. So I just Is that expensive? It. it was a gift. Oh, cool. And it and it was cool because in my headset my, my microphone broke, so I had tape. <laughs> oh. But but it's kind of strange speaking with a microphone. Can you hear me well? I mean, no problem. No, no noise in the background. No, there's. Oh, wow. Nice. It's, I like it. Nice. You are ready to start a, a YouTube channel. Yes. Clear and strange. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, nice. I'm going to be a YouTuber now. <laughs> Okay. Or TikToker. Or TikToker, yes. All right. Um, let me see. Let me open the portal, see what's going on. So yesterday we I told you that today we're going to finish doing can could will and would, right? So let me share my screen with you. Okay, do you see my uh, page? Yes. 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 Okay. So we're going to do the conditionals. First, we're going to do can. And the past of can is cannot. But people always say can't. So it's very, I mean, cannot is correct, but it's very strange that people say that. People say can't. Okay, class, what is can? It's like an ability. Okay, yes, can is an ability. It's Mm -hmm. It's ability, okay? Uh, an ability permission. to do something. Yes. Permission, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's two things. It's permission and ability. But I will explain something to you. So, can is ability. So, an ability is yes, you can, or no, you can't. For example, Dennis, can you dance? A little bit. Okay. Can you sing? No, I can't. Or it depends on what you're drinking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. 
Yeah. All right, uh, Rosa Maria, can you drive? Yes, I can. All right, Sulma Beatriz, can you swim? No, I can't. Okay, good. So if you notice, drive, swim, dance, sing, all those are verbs. And they go with can. Remember, I was explaining this to you Monday. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. That English, you learn. You don't study. But it's a kind of said, can you speak English? People never say, can you talk English? No, it's speak because it's ability. Okay. And okay. number two, can is also for permission. But it's really not correct. The formal way is may. Alguna vez les puede salir algún, algún grammar junkie. ¿Saben qué es un grammar junkie? No. Un junkie es como un adicto, right? Hmm. Junkie. Y no han notado que, por ejemplo, en WhatsApp o algo así, hay junkies de eh, ortografía. Que acá le toca a alguien. Así no se escribe, es así. Ajá. De, Algún día les puede salir un grammar junkie. So say, excuse me, can I go to the bathroom? Me pueden decir, I don't know. What? I remember I had a teacher. I said, I'm sorry, can I go to the bathroom? And she said, I don't know, can you? And I was, what? I was a little boy, right? I want to go to the bathroom. Can I go? She says, I don't know, David, can you? You want me to help you? And I didn't understand. Until, oh, teacher, may I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may. Okay, so can is two things. It's, yes, it's permission, but it's very informal. And it's uh, ability. Okay, do you have questions? No questions. Awesome. Uh, can you ability and may use permission? Yeah, I mean, some people say can is for permission. Yes, it's correct. But if you want to be more and more formal, it's actually may. May is for permission. Because think about it, Rosa, Rosa Maria. Can is ability, right? Can you can you dance? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Hey, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Mm -hmm. For example, a baby can't go to the bathroom. He needs help. But you understand what I'm trying to tell you, correct? Yes, put in the seat, can I? It's okay, no problem. But one day, if you want to be more and more formal, say, may I? Teacher. Yes. And on the other on the other side, if I use may, uh, for example, may you please check this? Yes, you're it, asking. Hmm? It's, it's better to use may instead of can. Yes, it's more polite. It's it's actually the formal way. Okay. It's the correct way, yes. Okay. Okay. So uh do you have questions? No questions? Everything okay? Boris Salinas, no Boris Salinas, can you arrest people? Of course, yes, teacher. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. 
What about me? Can I arrest somebody? No. Yes, you too. I can't. I... But you had uh, to immediately uh, put to the order to the authorities, okay. the people that you're arrest. Yeah. It's a citizen arrest, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Next, we're going to do could. All right, could. And the negative is couldn't. Couldn't. Oops. What is could? Possibility. Okay. The past form the of past. can. Exactly. Could is the past of can. Could is the past of can. Let me give you an example. Jose Saias, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here. You are 21, correct? No, no, no. 31. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I remember you're 31. And you look like a little boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, listen. Um, Remember when you were 10? Um... Yes. What is something that you could do in that time and now you can't? Uh, maybe play soccer two hours. Yeah. Good. I remember when I was younger, I could eat 20 pupusas and no problem. Remember when you were a little kid, you could, you could, I don't know, drink dos litros of Coca-Cola and there's no problem. Now you can't. Okay, Nady, Nady Evies, thank you for telling me, teacher. Good evening. I will not be able to turn on my camera. I will only be a listener. Thanks for understanding. Thank you for telling me. Okay. I remember also when I was a little kid, I could climb a tree. Now I can't. Yes. So what is could? Could is the past of can. So could is a past ability or a past permission. I'm going to ask a lady now. Um, Rosa Maria. Hi. Um, excuse me, Rosa Maria. How old are you? I am 21 years old. You're 21 years old. In El Salvador, do you live with your parents? Yes. Can you have, um, um, now listen to this. I'm not asking you if you have, if do you have, I'm asking you, can you have, can you have a boyfriend and no problem in your house? Yes, I have. No, but that's not my question. Do you have, is can you have a boyfriend? You know, some parents are very strict. They don't, they don't permit their daughters to have girlfriends. Oh, I'm sorry, boyfriends. All right, girlfriends. I don't want their son. Okay. Could is a past permission. Yes, or a past ability. Now, you are 21 years old and you live with your parents. Yes, maybe you have a boyfriend, maybe you don't. But my question is, 
Can you have a boyfriend? It's okay. It's no problem with your mother and father. Yes, I can because okay. my, my uh -huh. because my mom and my father uh, we know. And you said they know. Okay, very good. So yes, you can have a boyfriend. Very good. Le digo porque hay chicas que no pueden tener novio, pero igual siempre tienen. De escondida de los papás. Okay, so in this case, very good. Yes. No, you know, I I remember I remember before I I used to. I used to talk to girls and I said, no, my parents don't let me have a boyfriend. So I, you know, escondidas. You know. <laughs> but that was before. I don't know now. So, so you're 21 and you can have a boyfriend. There's no problem with your parents. What about when you were 15? Could you have a boyfriend? Can you repeat? Okay. What about when you were 15 years old? Could you have a boyfriend? Yes, I could have. No problem with your parents? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you don't understand my question. Do you understand my question? I'm I'm speaking I'm talking about permission. Okay. About your parents. Okay, you're 21. Well, so today you can go to your house. Hi, mother. Hi, father. This is my boyfriend. No problem. Correct? Okay. What about when you were 15? Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Oh, my boyfriend. No problem? I had a problem oh, when so, I was 15 years old. Okay, so listen. So when you were 15, you couldn't have a boyfriend. Correct? Correct. Maybe you did. That's different. That's a different story. Quizás tenía, pero en, en términos de permiso no podía. Right? That's That was right. my question. So, in conclusion, that's my question. Now I can have a boyfriend, but when I was 15, I couldn't. Exactly. I couldn't. And I think it's the same for all the girls here. Correct? the same maybe yeah because for men it was different i mean for men it's like yeah <laughs> yeah mi hijo tiene novia y tiene 13 años <laughs> it, it was different i'm not saying it's good constant but you know it was different so you understand the difference between can and could yes i understand okay very good thank you so i was yes jose say yes I have a question, teacher. Uh, yeah. But if I use cool in a question, uh, could be present, right? For example, could you take my order? Is present. Okay. Yes, but I I will I will give me one second, and I will explain. Okay. Okay. So um, you know what? Uh, the young generation. You know, like 20 years ago, Rosa Maria is young. Claudia Marcela is young. Merci, Jamilet, how old are you? 28. Oh, you're young too. Who is in their 20s? So we have... Okay, let's say Rosa Maria, Claudia, and Mercy. Do you know that before, like 20 years ago, you could smoke in the theaters, in the movie theaters? I do you know. Yeah, you could. And in Pollo Camperos, you could smoke anywhere in the buses. Of course, now you can't, which is good. But can you imagine how ugly it is going to the movies and the people in front of you smoking? Wow, before you could smoke in an airplane.
Okay, so do you understand could and couldn't? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So, could, so what is could? Could is the past of can. So could is a past ability or a past permission. Dennis, could you drink beer in your house when you were in high school? No, I couldn't. Your mother will kill you, yes? Yeah, of course. But but maybe you did. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't do that. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> at, uh, in the present, if I go to her house, I can't. You still can't. Yeah. I can't drink a beer in front of my mother. So she doesn't like that. So for her, that is a sin. Okay. So your mother is very, very old school. It's very conservative. Yeah. Mm, I, I, I think that conservative is not the war. But yeah, something like that. Oh, okay, yeah. she's very old school. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that example. Did you see what Dennis said? He said, when I was a kid, I couldn't drink a beer in my house. And now I still can't drink a beer in front of my mother. Que lo haga o no es otra cosa, but he's talking about permission. Yes? Do you see the difference? So don't, don't, don't get the question confused. Do you have any other questions with uh, could? Do you have any other questions with could or couldn't? Not sure. All right. Now let's do wouldn't. Would and wouldn't. What is would? What would you do if I sang out of tune? What is wood? Is the synonym of uh, uh, used to? Um, is some other bird too? Yeah, but remember this. This is why we're going to explain wood right now in 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 um in present. You say ia. <laughs> ia, exactly. The the the, the in uh, in in the words ia. Okay, so si yo digo, I would eat. ¿Qué yeah. dice? Comería. Uh, comería. ¿Quién puede terminar su oración? Comería. Prims. <laughs> no, no, pero I would eat, yo comería. Pero ¿qué Ice cream pasa? every day. Ok. Ok. I would eat ice cream. If this is the important part, okay. <clears throat> See, it's a condition, but it's a conditional. Y si se dan cuenta también es así en español. Yo comería todos los días sorbetes si pudiera. For example, me, I would eat a Big Mac every day if I had no problems <laughs> with medical problems because I love Big Macs. So, can he say so? I can't and I don't. Okay, so watch. So, remember, would is a 
wood is yeah it's a conditional Claudia Marcela Linares you are single correct yeah what would you do if your ex-boyfriend calls you and tells you I miss you I don't care. I would say. I would say I don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's that's the probability. So if if Claudia's ex boyfriend calls her, there's a big probability that she would say, "I would I would say, I don't care." Um. Sara de Carmen, are you there? Yes. What would you do if you find a wallet with money inside in the street? Mm. Sorry, I don't understand the second part of um question. What would you do if you find a wallet with money inside um um uh, maybe i i will take the wallet and maybe i ask for for the um no sorry Maybe I I I I could ask someone if the wallet is is um I don't know. Let me think. If I find if I go find a wallet, uh maybe I I don't take the wallet because it's a problem. Because the uh, maybe the wallet doesn't have money, and the the people that lost the this wallet, he have money, he, and I and I find the wallet without money. No, maybe but my, but but my question is, what would you do if you find a wallet with money inside? Ah. Uh, Okay. Mm. I could try to find the phone. Maybe. Okay, good. So I would try to return it. Yes. Return. Mm -hmm. return. Yes, yes. With the money or only the wallet? Yes. Because um, I think if if I lost my my wallet, I maybe I I think that um, I want to the someone find my my wallet. Uh, gave me my wallet because it's my money and maybe I need the money. For that, I would try to look for uh, the who is the wallet.
Do you see this kiss? You always want a simple answer. Excuse me? Uh, no, no. Um, what I'm going to say is there's there's a thing in English is called kiss. Like keep it simple. Oh so I, I understand I understand everything you were trying to tell me. I promise you I understand. But um what happens is in this case, you have so many ideas in your head. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh, that you get confused when you speak. No, but I understand. Yes, everything. because my problem was I I didn't find the find the exactly. the, the, the words. This exactly. is my problem. No, moment. no, no, but it's very good. I mean, I like that because you take a risk, it's good. So what I recommend to you is <laughs> keep it simple. So, for example, in this case is, if I find a wallet, I would return it. Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't want that to happen to me. Yes. Es más fácil decir eso a dar toda la historia. Yes. When, when you're ready to say the complete story, good. But it's very much como en toic, en tofu. No, but very good, very good. I like that. But just remember next time, like, keep it simple. Don't complicate it. So very good. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for that. Uh, Dennis. Yes. What would you do if your wife tells you Tonight that she's pregnant. Again. I honestly I will get happy. You would? All right. Cool. I will I will get happy. Yeah, good. Oh, good. No, hey, that's very good. How many children do you have? I do have three. Three. Wow. So yes. number four. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so do you understand would? Class? Yes. Ah, okay, but hoy vamos a atacar a los que no han querido ni participar ni preguntar, pero están en clase, so thank you. Rafael. Okay. How are you, Rafael? I'm fine, man. I'm staying stay over the class all right good rafael listen um what or who what person who would you like to meet in person if you have an opportunity um I would to know. I would like to meet. Uh, I, I would like to meet um, Andrea Bocelli. All right. I like Andrea Bocelli. Yeah. El dijo uh, una, el dijo en una entrevista una vez de que él conoce una señora que era enfermera y que le dijeron en el embarazo que su hijo te, te, le miraban un problema a su hijo y que lo abortara porque su hijo iba a nacer con una discapacidad o algo y la señora no quiso y dijo y esa señora es mi madre like wow Se con la cuenta, wow, y esa señora es mi madre y yo era el niño. So, Andrea Bocelli, he's, he's a beautiful singer. Yes, excellent. Eso me, eso me mucho. But I can't listen to that music because my son, he down. <laughs> All right. Okay, so very good class. So what would you, what would you? 
Por eso es que le digo, would es un ia. ¿Qué harías si? ¿A dónde irías si? Pero igual en español necesitamos el sí, porque es una condición. O sea, significa que pueda que nunca pase, pues. Como le dije a Denis, ¿qué dirías si tu esposa te dice que está embarazada hoy? ¿Ok? ¿Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Ok, now, back to the question that, who asked me this question? Mm. José Isaías. Yeah, por eso. That's one thing I don't like about the microphone. Ya algo que no me gusta. Okay. Para pedir un, un favor. Jose Isaias, here's your question. To ask for a favor or a suggestion? Se puede usar to, when, to ask for a, for a favor or for a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Una sugerencia? Se pueden usar todos. Can you please? Could you please? Would you please? Okay. And it's very formal. Okay, thank you. So imagine if you're in a restaurant and somebody is smoking and that person is not supposed to smoke and the smoke you don't like, you can go to that person and say, can you please stop smoking? Could you please stop smoking? Would you please stop smoking? <laughs> oh, hey, stop smoking, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay, it's a formal, can you, could you, would you please? Okay, okay. Um, I, I think, uh, for example, in a restaurant, you, you can use wool or cool. Can, you can use can because it's informal. No, but in, in this case, if you're going to ask for a suggestion, can you please, could you please, would you please? Ahí los tres significan lo mismo. Oh, okay. So if you're in a restaurant and you want pepper, you say, excuse me, uh, can you please give me pepper or mayonnaise? Let's say, excuse me, can you please give me mayonnaise? Excuse me, could you please give me mayonnaise? Or excuse me, would you please give me mayonnaise? Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very formal, formal or very polite way to ask for a favor. Also had answer. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. Yes. Okay, so do you understand now the difference between can, could, and would? Yes. Yes. All right. Let me see. Says, look at the following picture. Complete the sentences with used to or would. Mm -hmm. 
the first year of the first year of high school, I wasn't very good student. I wasn't a very good student. I used to think school was boring. I remember my classmates. Fíjense que aquí cualquiera puede estar bien. Used to or would go to the library and work on projects or study, but I would go to the video arcade instead. I used to go right after class and would spend about two hours there. I knew I wasn't smart, so I wasn't worried about my grades. I'm sorry, I knew I was smart, so I wasn't worried about my grades. My mom, my mom would have a job, so she never knew what time I was, I used to get home. One day I had to go to the principal's office. He said, you would be a great student. Now your grades are terrible. Explain. That was a real wake up call. After that, I used to be at the library most nights with my classmates. Now that my kids are in high school, I tell them about my silly things I would do when I was a teenager. Listen, I have a question for you, class. Bodies. Yes, it is. Si yo le pregunto en español, Boris, ¿qué es la diferencia si usted me dice? Yo me acuerdo que cuando era bicho, yo, ju yo jugaba canicas con mis amigos toda la tarde. O yo me acuerdo que cuando era bicho, yo solía jugar con mis amigos canicas todas las tardes. What is the difference? There is no difference. Exactly. That's the same in English. When I was a kid, I would play with my friends all afternoon. When I was a little kid, I used to play with my friends all afternoon. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So that's wood and past. I would and I used to. Uh, Sara del Carmen, what would be your favorite, your favorite band when you were in high school? When I was in high school, high school, my. Um, I don't have favorite band, but I I have a favorite music. I always like um uh, um music in English, uh the eighties. Okay, but you would never listen to like one band, like you know, like oh. You know, I, I, every girl had a Magneto, Ricky Martin moment, or um... oh yes, I remember. Uh -huh. It was Menudo. There you go. <laughs> so when I was, excuse me, Sara, how old are you? <laughs> Forty-two. Oh, oh, wait, but then yeah, because my question, because my question was. When you were in high school, el menudo era como en el ochenta. No, menudo was when I was um maybe fifteen. Uh, oh, but that's the second generation of menudo, no? Ah, uh, okay. That's MDO. Oh. ¿Y por qué sé eso? No me I pregunto. didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I remember, I remember when I was a little little kid, there was a menudo like like que que I saw Ricky Martin when they were little kids. And sure, then, I think that menudo has like yeah. five generations. Oh yeah, like five generations. Yeah, that's okay. So yeah, Sara, no no problem. So yeah, you you <laughs> like you like the the later generation of menudo. Okay, so yeah, okay. So when I was in high school, I would listen to menudo. 
Ah, I know. Yes. Quiero bailar reggae. <laughs> that mingo, right? <laughs> yeah, I remember them. All right. What about what about you, Boris? When you were in high school, what would you listen to? Oh well, uh, I I like the the rock too, teacher. <laughs> All right. Uh, I heard uh, Bon Jovi, Poison, Metallica. Nice. When I was in when I was in high school, I would listen to rock music too, and um, I had long hair. Purple, green, pink, red, every color of hair I had. <laughs> and I put makeup in my eye. <laughs> yeah, but in that uh, time, uh, my father, uh, they don't like that I listen to that music, but I think that it's a good music. Yeah. You know that um, you like Aerosmith? Yes. When when Aerosmith came to El Salvador, I think it was like seven years ago, I think. Yes. Um, I went in Tyler in the Buckle. Yes. Uh, I went to the concert and I and I had a mask of Jason. Okay. Of Jason and 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 I I took a big poster saying no a reggaeton, you know. Uh, and then the police called me. <laughs> when when I was when I was going to the stadium, the police called me. Venga. Oh man. Yeah, no man, I had entrar. <laughs> because of my mask. <laughs> and no, they yeah. wanted a, they wanted a picture with me. Uh, you you don't don't didn't bring with you the, the big knife? <laughs> no, no, I, I imagine they were going to tell me what what why why are you dressed like that or no, but they, they wanted a picture with me. So I, I okay. Yeah, so really yeah, pase jefe, pase Jason. So the the funny part was that the next day I saw my picture in the newspaper. Jason presente en el concierto de Aerosmith. I'm hey, that's me, that's me. <laughs> okay. <That's> nice. <laughs> yes, my mother was very angry. Because she says you're still like, act like a little boy, blah blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me see. Uh, what about you, Rafael? What music would you listen to when you were in your youth? When when I I was um, a young, and I used used to to. Listen music, uh, pop music, uh, like uh, Cindy Lauper, Madonna, yeah. um, a, 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 a band called Europe, Europe, and dun, 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 yeah. But you know what, and, you, and, Rafael? And, yes. And, mm -hmm. dun, no, and uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yes, he's the master. I think. I think the eighties. Pop was the best. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you compare pop now, 80s is the best. They had the best pop music. Yeah. Michael Jackson, George Michael. Uh, Phil Madonna, Collins. Phil Co Madonna, man, she has beautiful music, and now she's very strange. Yeah. yeah. All right, what about you, Alejandro Elizabeth? What music would you listen to? I would like um, pop music. In my time was uh, MDO. Similar to <laughs> the Sarah. jeans. Yes, jeans. And I don't know, Ricky Martin. <laughs> uh, before or after? The... No, before. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because I remember every girl used to be crazy about Ricky Martin before he he yes. came out. <laughs> came out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, yes, before he came out the closet. Yeah. 
but but uh and after that i think it was chayanne so every girl switched from oh, yes. ricky martin to chayanne all right and oh yeah jose you're 31 i keep on thinking you're 18 what about you what music would you listen to I used to listen Linkin Park, for example, uh, Bon Jovi, uh, I don't know, Panda. What happened to Panda? Uh, they, no, they still exist? No, they dissolve the group uh i don't know or 10 years ago i don't know i don't remember oh okay all right so a very good class so i like that that you have no problem with i used to or i would si se dieron cuenta algunos me respondieron con i used to y otros con i would lo mismo so that's good All right. So do you have any plans for this weekend? Only rest in my house. <laughs> I have 19 people looking at me and nobody's answering. You will rest in your house? Yes. I'm because sorry. this week are very hard oh, to yeah. me at work. Where do you work? I work at Wally News, Wilhelmson. It's a Naviera. Oh, and I, I process invoices. I heard of them. Yes. And I see the countries of Canada and US, Mexico, Panama. <laughs> so it's very, very busy. But that company is from the United States, correct? Uh, it's uh, Noruega. Norway. Norway, yes. Oh, where is the office in Santa Elena, right? No, it's in San Benito. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've heard about them. I, I, I frequently have heard about that company. Look, really? Rosa, <laughs> Rosa Maria is sleeping. Well, it's four. <laughs> it's four in the morning, man. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. Now uh, it is five. Five a.m. It's five now. Okay, Rosemary, you're 21. You are in Spain, and it's Friday. What will you do? Please don't tell me you're going to go to church. Tell me, I'm Hi. going to visit Salvador Dali's museum. I'm going to no, but this this weekend, I we go to the Madrid because uh, I go to celebrate it with my sister in her graduation. Oh. Okay, and where are you now? Sorry? Where are you now? What part of Spain? I don't know. Okay, Rosemary, you are in Spain in this moment, correct? Yes. What part of Spain? Malaga. Ah, Barcelona. Ah, ah. Mallorca. Uh -huh. in, in Murcia. Murcia, okay. And yes. and this weekend you're going to go to Madrid. Madrid. Yes. Oh, nice. That's good, man. Enjoy. Very good for you. Okay. Does anyone else have plans for the weekend? I'm going to play soccer with my friends. That's good. You know, not a lot of people play soccer anymore. Sunday and after, pupusas. Of course. There's 
a, a Sunday with no pupusas is you're not Salvadorian. Yes. And Medici Jamilet, uh, are you working in this moment? Yes. <laughs> and when is your day off? Weekends off or? Uh, Sunday and Monday. Those are the best days to have off. Yeah, for me, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have one weekend and one weekday. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, class, I hope you have a great weekend. I will see you Monday, okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. If you have okay. any... Thanks. If you okay. have any questions, I am in the WhatsApp. Any questions, if you ever need. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice esto? Teacher, me, hoy me salió esto y qué es. Hay muchas que lo suelen hacer. <laughs> lo único que a veces si no le respondo rápido es porque I'm busy, pero sí le voy a responder. Teacher. Yes, Sara. Yo entendí como que vamos a hacer este, tareas. No. De semana no. Podemos traer algo así, no recuerdo. No. No, no. si no hay mejor. Sí, sí, sí. Tomorrow is a day off. Tomorrow's Friday, yes. Classes are from Monday to Thursday. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. A I'm long, going... a long yeah. weekend. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go to the beach. Okay. That's All nice. weekend. Okay, nice. enjoy. Nice. All right. Okay. Thank you, class. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Bye bye. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night.